A couple weeks back for a Q&A, Noah Ridenor asked what religion the minister at Anakin and Padme's wedding was. I had no idea, so I looked into it and thought Naboo's religion was kind of interesting in the context of Star Wars, where most faiths are centered around the Force. So today we'll be talking about that minister and the religion he follows. But keep in mind that almost everything we talk about today will be from Star Wars Legends. Maxeron Agalergo was the name of the minister, and he was a pontifex of the Brotherhood of Cognizance. In Roman culture, a pontifex was a member of a council of priests, and the word itself translates to bridge builder, I assume because they helped bridge the world of man with the world of the gods. The Brotherhood of Cognizance was created hundreds of years before the Clone Wars. They were a branch of the main Naboo religion, which was polytheistic, like the Romans. The Brotherhood were focused on the god that represented discipline and the accumulation and study of knowledge. During the colonization of Naboo, they were a prominent group, but by the time of Anakin and Padme's marriage, they were largely forgotten. Only about 20 brothers remained, living secluded in the mountains of Naboo. Maxeron was surprised when a young woman sent him a message requesting he perform a marriage because no pontifex had officiated a wedding in over 300 years. Civil ceremonies were much more common on Naboo by that time. Maxeron traveled to an estate where he met the couple who identified themselves as Vere and Set. Both names were figures from a Naboo myth about two eternal lovers. Stepping behind the scenes, the author of this story borrowed the eternal lovers motif from Tolkien's Tale of Baron and Luthien, a story about a mortal man's romance with an elf who forsakes her immortality to be with him, which is also mirrored in Aragorn and Arwen's story in The Lord of the Rings. Anakin and Padme's story is, of course, also a tale of forbidden love thanks to the Jedi Order's view on attachment and Padme's fear of being removed from the Senate. The author also stated that Anakin's mythical identity, Set, was named after the Egyptian god of the desert, storms, darkness, and chaos. But back to Star Wars, after the ceremony, with a wave of his hand, Set instructed Maxeron to keep the wedding a secret, and the old priest obeyed. Unfortunately, Captain Panaka had discovered the marriage on his own and informed Chancellor Palpatine. When Maxeron discovered for himself the true identities of Set and Vere, he informed Padme's niece. Some of this story is contradicted by the Revenge of the Sith novelization, which implies Anakin and Padme were married by a member of Naboo's civil clergy. The reference book Jedi vs. Sith, The Essential Guide to the Force, also claims Maxeron's character was a trusted friend of Padme's family. But I rather like the story put forth by author Tim Vakoven, which makes up the bulk of this video. It makes sense that Padme would know of a forgotten religion that was still considered valid by Naboo's laws. The secluded life of the monks meant their wedding was that much more likely to be kept secret. I was also surprised at how interesting researching this question was, with connections to the real world along with other fictional universes. So thanks, Noah, for your very specific question. If you guys have any other detailed questions like that, put them in the comments and I might cover them. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.